Hi there, Tim Ungert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a snippet in Sublime Text. Specifically, we're going to make a snippet that uses Bootstrap 4 within an HTML page. I've saved this file here as sample.html. I'll show you what a snippet is. There is a built-in one where you just type HTML and hit tab, and then you get a basic framework. Okay, But you might want a bit more. You want, might want to include the Bootstrap layout and maybe even a navigation menu with that. In this video, we're going to do that. So let's just get rid of this and let's start creating our snippet. So I'm going to go up to Tools and go to Developer down here. And what I want to do is from Developer, go to New Snippet. Okay. So you need this stuff here, uh, the content stuff here, uh, which starts with the C data and you need these ending brackets here. And in between this highlighted portion here is going to be where you're going to put your snippet. Okay. So we probably want to include a lot from just the basic HTML snippet. So let's get that stuff. So we'll get this stuff here and I'm going to put that in here and I'm going to add a description tag too. Let's add that. So we'll do uh, meta name equals description and then content equals and then in between the content braces we're going to put a dollar sign and then uh, two curly braces inside the curly braces I'm going to do a one and just type something like enter description here and what that's going to do is when we expand the snippet uh, it's going to put my cursor right there to do that first second place I'm going to put this I'm going to put a dollar sign two curly braces here let's put two and just say enter title here okay so that's going to move me to the second place and then probably in the body we want to enter some content um, but first we want to bring in some of the bootstrap stuff so let's do that so if I go up here and I search, search for bootstrap 5 um, I can have this introduction here and we have this CSS file we need to copy so let's copy that let's put that let's make a comment in HTML so we'll say bootstrap CSS and then we'll paste that in here so we've got our bootstrap CSS coming in we also need the JavaScript so I'm gonna copy this bundle and we'll go down to here just make another comment uh, bootstrap JS and we'll paste that in there okay and uh, we also may want to add for instance a navigation menu so let's go up here and we'll go to uh, components and if we go to navbar we can go and scroll down and we've got a bunch of different examples here we got one with the search bar there's one that I like it's a little bit farther down this disabled one I'm gonna copy all of this okay and we're going to let's tab over we'll make a comment so we'll do bootstrap menu or nav bar whatever you want to call it and we'll copy that in and let's get all the spacing all nice and neat so let's move that over a little bit um, we probably want to get it four spaces but you know we could we could mess with that a little bit later but um, just give you an idea what, what we're doing for this snippet here and a couple things I like to change if I look here um, I think the nav bar nav class we want to do like MS auto here so I'll add a class in there uh, to specify what I want you notice I just went to save it there and it's it's prompted me to save it in the user uh, in under packages under user so let's do that we'll name this um, bootstrap 5 uh, dot sublime snippet let's do bootstrap 5 uh, dash starter page something like that and we'll click save and then we can continue to work on it um, you know, we probably want to have some links here so index.html uh, here's a nav item let's do algebra algebra one.html because I'm probably creating a math website because I am a math teacher uh, algebra 2.html and then we'll get rid of this disabled part here 
we'll just leave it like that. We could add more, but just uh, for you know working this out, let's just neat this up. We'll do algebra one here, algebra two here, and we got the home. I'm gonna save that again. And so we got a basic snippet. Um, we probably want to go down and put our content. So we'll make a comment here, main content. And maybe we want a main section with a class of container. We can add that in there. Uh, and go down here and close out the main. But in here, we'll tab in and we'll put the dollar sign of the curly braces. And we'll do three uh, and we'll say enter main content here. Okay, so we're building out our snippet quite nice. Um, you know, syntax highlighting is a little, little tough here, uh, but we can save it and let's go down here. We can also do some tab trigger. Maybe we want a tab trigger. So I'm gonna uncomment this line here and let's do the tab trigger. Let's do bootstrap five colon HTML for our tab trigger. And we could also put in the source. Now, the source, you'd think it's source.html, but it's, uh, I believe it's text uh, basic.html. It might be text html.basic. We'll figure that out in a moment. So I'm gonna save that, go back to my HTML here, and I'll start to type in bootstrap colon HTML, hit tab, and we've got uh, just the HTML that got triggered there. So we're probably gonna have to reconfigure our tab trigger and we might have the scope off. So let's do text html.basic and we'll just delete this out um, if this isn't the case. And let's just do bootstrap without the colon HTML because that's conflicting with the HTML trigger there. So, okay, so I'm gonna do bootstrap uh, HTML, hit tab, and there we go. Okay, so we got the scope right. And now we've got this nice setup where if I, um, you know, my cursor's put up here so I can start entering my description. And what you wanna do is do a little space and then hit tab and you're gonna move to the title. Uh, here's my title, do another space, hit tab, and you go, here is my main content. And you know, ideally we wanna surround these with paragraph tags, right? But um, you get the idea if we save it and then we open this in the browser, we see that we've got Bootstrap pulling in with a nav bar and everything. And you may wanna change this a bit. I think this has the class of container fluid. I might wanna go container so the nav bar is not all the way up against here. And I'd probably also for my snippet, I'd wanna change it from, where does it say nav bar? Let me find that. Um, and again, it's a little hard with the with the syntax highlighting here, and I'm looking for it. Right, nav bar nav. There it is. Here we go. Let's change it to my website, uh, algebra superstar.com. Okay. And um, let's change this from container fluid to container. Save it. Okay, we can go back here. We can just delete out everything, do bootstrap, HTML, hit tab, enter in the description, do space, hit tab, enter in the title, do space, hit tab, and then, boom, uh, so my paragraph snippet didn't work there, but let's try that again. Now we enter in the main content here. Okay, save it. Again, we could open it in the browser. And that's how I've changed my snippet. You notice now it's got the just the container class, not the container fluid. And there's a bunch of other things we could add to the snippet. We could, you know, give the main, we've got a main, a classic container. Maybe we want to do margin top five, margin bottom five. Fine tune the snippet, and then you can use it on every single page. So, um, yeah, so let's say, I don't want to change that in the actual snippet. Let's do margin top five, margin bottom five, and you probably want to add a footer 
whatever, but let's create a new file. Let's save this as, um, I don't know, sample two dot uh, HTML. Now I just saved something in the user package, so I probably wanna save it in my home. I'll click save, save it in the right spot. And now I'll do bootstrap HTML, hit tab, I've got that. So this is, uh, we'll type the description for sample page two. Do, uh, I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, yeah, but that was a little odd, <laughs> gave me those things, but yeah, you know, there's a little, little buggy every once in a while, but uh, so sample page two uh, title, and then we go into our main content here. So main content here, and uh, something like this is sample page two. Okay, and then save it. And now if we wanna open sample page two, we got sample page two here. It looks like sample page one. So whatever CSS framework you're using, if it's Bootstrap, if it's um, yeah, Bulma or Materialize or Tailwind or whatever, you can make a quick template in Sublime Text, jam it out for each page. That way, if you want, like what I'm doing for schools, so I'll probably have a, you know, set up this website and just have a basic HTML, CSS type site, not like you know a dynamic site with PHP running on the background and, and all that stuff, because it's more just informational for my students, uh, but I can quickly template it out. Now, if I wanted to do, with all that being said, if I wanted to include PHP or, or C or make snippets for anything like that, you know, I could do that with my snippet. I would just want to look up and change the source. Like for instance, the default it gives you is source.python. So each language, it might be a little bit different, what you have to look up, but you can look that stuff up on the internet pretty easy. Make out your snippets and code a lot quicker. Hopefully this video is helpful to you and hopefully I didn't ramble on too long. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.